Yes, this is the crazyjoeshow.com. Uh, finishing up on our first video. This is part two of this um, of this video <clears throat> about uh, Ratso and his slanderous ways. And, you know, the guy is such a fucking coward. It's not even funny because uh, he's got no game, man. You know, I, I, I remember, um, well, not just the fact that I challenged him to a debate about racism but uh, he declined because he was scared. <clears throat> because he knows that he's a bullshit artist. That he can't compete with the truth about <coughs> racism. And, <coughs> excuse me, I have asthma. He can't compete. Ratso is a, just like the, the, little, the little douchebag weasel that he adopted... He can't compete with someone like me. I'm older than him, wiser than him in my age, in my years. I'm like a fucking encyclopedia. I'm like National Geographic compared to this fucking jerk off Ratso who doesn't know a fucking thing about anything. He, he even thinks he knows about politics. He knows nothing about politics, really. But he does a good job of pretending that he thinks he knows. And fools all of his audience out there. But, um... I put my money where my mouth is, because if I didn't, I wouldn't have challenged him to a debate. So, obviously, I have more knowledge and I have more on the ball than he'll ever have because he's a coward and he's scared to challenge a real man because he sees me as a real man oh he he called one time he called to my show and he was laughing like a jerk off because he knows that he's an asshole he's got no game he's got no dick he's got nothing I'm surprised Jenny likes him but guy's got no dick <laughs> But that's not important, right? If a guy has a dick or not, right? Hmm. But we know he could never be with a real woman. See, Jenny doesn't count as a real woman. But anyway, the thing is that nobody, you know, is going to force me to like <coughs> people, and I call them the inferior people, Nobody's going to force me to like those people. See, I, I pick and choose my friends very wisely. <clears throat> and even though I don't object to having uh, a, uh, one of those people, because I, I, I don't know, I don't, re, I don't I, in this world today of politically correct, you can't, I don't know if you can even say the word black, but I, I don't mind. And I've had, but they were more like acquaintances, you know, like playing basketball, stuff like that. I never, I mean, when I was a kid, I had, I had a true, true black friend, but, uh, you know, I was a kid, he was already an adult and, you know, he, uh, he was a good friend. That's all I could tell you. But nobody's going to force me to like the kind of inferior people that we have now <coughs> In our society, <coughs> with this um, rap crap and um, gang violence and shootings and murders and everything, something that Ratso knows nothing about because he lives in Bumfuckville, uh, White Bread, New Hampshire. So he doesn't know anything about uh, a real city or um, a real environment where there's. Uh, Shootings almost every day, like in uh, Chicago and New York and Washington and Philadelphia. He wouldn't know anything about that because Ratso is, um, you know, he's a sheltered little boy. And even though uh, he's an adult, he's, he's sheltered. He, he's lived a sheltered life. There's no doubt about it. <clears throat> he knows 
He knows nothing about what he says. He's as fake and phony and as artificial as, as, as saccharin, you know? He's definitely not the man. He's a, uh, he's an underman. He's been hiding under a rock. Or he was, actually he wasn't hiding, well he was put there by his family. He was put underneath the rock. Sheltered this fucking little asshole. And not let him see the world. Because, you see, this is the great, great thing about New York. <clears throat> Is that we're not sheltered. The world is there. Because we have so many influence and famous people and and we're the, the media capital and the and the this capital. You know, we are the capital of everything, for Christ's sake. And in places like Bumfuckville, New Hampshire, everybody there lives life like underneath a rock. They don't know anything about anything. And Ratso is no different. He might be New Hampshire's best, but he doesn't he's a flea bag and an and a cockroach when it comes to New York superiority and knowledge and culture and everything that New York is. And I think that's what uh and I know that we're not light in other places, and we don't care. At least I don't care. I don't want to be light. I don't need to be light. <clears throat> I need to tell it like it is, but like I said, nobody's going to force me to like inferior people, and today, believe me, they're very inferior, and I don't need to like them. I don't need to be their friend. I don't need nothing. But you see, Ratso... I bet he doesn't have a black friend. How can you have a black friend when you live in 97 to 98.5% white bumfuckville, New Hampshire? It's impossible. It's impossible. You can't have any minority friends. So, Ratso, again, you lose. Because you don't know what you're talking about when it comes to black people and, and uh, black culture. You know none of that. And trying to tell me that I'm a supremacist to slander because you got no game, boy. <laughs>